is that leadership isn't really just a set of techniques, right? I think we would agree about that. It's not some style you choose. It's a reflection of who you are. So it seems to me that your argument uh, that I ascribe to wholeheartedly might be that the better person, the more loving person, the more fulfilled person, the person full of more gratitude has a leg up oh, in yeah. being a better leader. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the good news about that is that everybody can become that better person. But you're exactly right, Gary. This is a very important observation that you're making. The key thing is not to learn the techniques of better manipulation of other people. The key is to work on your own virtue as a person. That is what you're working on to, to actually become a better leader, is the, you know, is the virtue per se. And so that's what you do. You become a better listener. You, 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 you have more positive reflections on your fellow women and men that, that work for you or work with you. And all these things, what they do is they, they, they make you into the virtuous person that people actually want to follow because that's how they sense that you will their good. And to will their good is to love them. Is there a correlation there also with happiness? I know you spend a lot of time talking about leadership and happiness to oversubscribe classes at Harvard. Yeah, well, it's, you know, it turns out everybody wants happiness, so they line up at the door to get to the, to the happiness classes. I'm not going to flatter myself. I understand that I'm, I'm giving away emotional candy here. Um, but absolutely, the, the link between love and happiness is, is inescapable. There's a, one of my colleagues here at Harvard, his name is George Valiant, who's a psychologist, teaches, uh, a psychiatrist actually teaches at the medical school, has for a long time. He, he ran a 75-year longitudinal study on graduates from Harvard College who graduated between 1939 and 1943. So this four-year cohort included very, some very famous people like Ben Bradley and John F. Kennedy were in this cohort. And, and those who live were in this cohort for 75 years. And George Valiant, he didn't study him over the whole 75 years. He took over in the end part of the study. And what he did was he found this, the correlates with their success as, as people and as leaders and as professionals and everything else in between. And, and he, you know, people asked him, so what's the conclusion? You know, you have to pull up a comfy chair and listen for two hours, huh? He said, here's the conclusion. <laughs> Happiness is love, full stop. In other words, if you want to find the happy people, they're the ones who had more friendships, warmer relationships with their kids, better marriages, and ongoing relationships with their mothers and fathers. That's it, you know, it's, and, 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 and by the way, this also means relationships that are religious. And so if you have faith, family, friendship, and all this stuff manifested in work, that's about love and love's about happiness.